Sometimes the best things in life, the most beautiful things in life, have been staring at you the whole time and you've never been able to see it. And then once you do, it changes your life. And that's exactly what's going to happen with this guitar lesson, I promise you. Because even if you're a complete beginner, right, or even if you're an intermediate guitarist, you might not know this and you're going to be able to apply it right away and by the end of the lesson, you're going to be having a lot of fun and getting some beautiful sounds coming from your guitar. And the great thing about this lesson is you only need to know four chords. G, D, E minor, and C. That's it. You don't need to be able to do anything fancy. You don't need to know any scales, any licks, nothing like that. You just need to know these four shapes and you're gonna be able to produce some magic by using something called the big guitar, small guitar method theory thing that uh, was passed down to me, the knowledge passed down to me by a great guitar wizard many moons ago. So <clears throat> before we get started, I am playing a cutaway guitar, right? A faith guitar. Normally you'll see me with my Martin guitars, but I do have other guitars. This is my workhorse that I use for my guitar school. Uh, and it's a faith guitar, uh, a brand that is local here uh, in the United Kingdom. And if you get the chance to try these guitars, they're great, great price. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but they're great guitars and, uh, you know, they can really uh, compete alongside your Martins and Taylors and they're at a much better price range. So check them out. And if you get any guitars that you would suggest that are like that, that are high end in quality, but low end in price or mid, mid price, then let us know in the comments. Uh, because I've always got my eye out for, for new guitars. Anyways, I'm going to be playing this on this guitar, but I'm also going to show you how to play it on a normal guitar without a cutaway if you don't have one of these. If you don't have a cutaway, then I'm giving you a good excuse to buy a new guitar, right? We can never run out of those excuses. Uh, but either way, I'm going to show you you can do it without a cutaway as well. Now, what am I talking about? We're playing up here, right? We're playing a G, a D, E minor, C. Now... The big guitar, small guitar method theory thing is that if you get to the 12th fret here and if you had to put a capo on here, now it's very difficult to put a capo on here because of the way the guitar is, but if you put a capo on here, everything would start over again as from the first fret. All right, so this is the E note. 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 Everything resets on the 12th fret, which means if you to do any of the chord shapes, here, over here, they would work, okay? So what does that mean? It means that if you count 12 frets up, we've got a G here, our middle fingers in the third fret, three plus 12 is 15. Some quick math there for you. Check that out. Now what you get here, you get the same open strings that are down here, right, obviously, but you get the higher, versions of these notes, your fretted notes. So the G is a G up here, the B is a B up here, and so on. And you get this really lovely sound. So what if we did this with a D? Again, move it up to the 14th and 15th fret. I've got a G, a D, I just used the same strings that I would use there. An E minor on the 14th fret. And then a C. Okay, and again I'm starting here with 13. Uh, 4, 14, 15. Like that. Alright, now this would be too difficult to play uh, without a, um, a cutaway, right? That shape here. So I'm going to show you how to do that on the other guitar in just a second. Uh, but let's have a, a little uh, play around with that, right? So...
Alright. Lovely. Now, I'm going to get the other guitar up. Da -da -da. Here we go. <clears throat> Alright. Now, I, to, I do like everything a little bit better on my HD35 for sure. But again, if you get up to here, you can't really get that C note, that C chord like that. So what we can do is we can get half of that. Alright. Uh, so basically, the first finger on 13 and your middle finger on 14. And then we just want to play that from the D string and try it with that. So let's hear how that sounds. So there it is guys, something really easy, something really simple, but something can add a lot, something that can add a lot of dynamic to your playing, alright? So yeah, that's it. Now before you go, if you do like my stuff, if you want to work with me one on one, I do have a few places for new students this month, uh, so you can apply for my 12 week private program below, and we can book in a call, and yeah, I'll see you there. So, take it easy. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next lesson.